I see a function with three x-intercepts. I see one at negative one, another at positive four, and a third one at positive seven. And then down below, I see for this function, which of the following must be a factor? So this is gonna be a little bit of vocab. Remember that your x-intercepts are when your function hits the x-axis, but an x-intercept is the same thing as a solution or a zero. A factor is going to be the opposite sign of your solutions, of your x-intercepts. So when I see a negative one as a solution, I wanna think that my factor would be x plus one. When I see a solution that's positive four, my factor would be x minus four. And then finally, when I see positive seven, my factor would be x minus seven. If I would multiply these three together, it would give me a function pretty similar to this function. So down below, which must be a factor, we've already kind of done the work here. X plus seven is not correct because we want X minus seven. Six isn't in it either way. I see my X plus one, so we know it's gonna be C and I know it's not gonna be D. So that's our final answer.